Hi, Chem 245 students. I am Mrs. Zon. I am the chemistry lab instructor at the University of Belaman. We are going to perform the uh, every week one experiment of our course. We are going today to perform the first experiment, which is the melting point. Uh, we are going to show you the melting point apparatus and the chemicals that we are going to use. To introduce the chemicals inside the melting point apparatus, we are going to use a capillary tube. The capillary tube has two ends, one sealed end and one open end. And fill our chemical like this. As you know, a maximum of few millimeters is enough to do the test. And I have to do this to introduce the solid into the sealed end of the capillary tube. This is the first tube filled with acetanilide. Now I will fill the benzoic acid into the capillary tube. Yeah. And I will prepare the capillary tube of a mixture of 50% acetanilide and 50% benzoic acid. Now we have to introduce our solids into the machine. This is acetanilide and this is benzoic acid. Okay. Now, as the thermometer is well inserted and I have inserted the two solids, I will put the machine on and follow the procedure written on the machine, which is not to uh, put the heating rate at a high value Now the temperature is almost 42 degrees and as the first expected melting point is 115 degrees we have to wait almost until 100 and to decrease the heating rate of the machine. Now the temperature is almost within 15 degrees of the expected melting point so we have to decrease the heating rate of the machine till 1 degree per minute. As you know, the melting will be a range and at the appearance of the first droplet of the solid will be the start of the range. Now, the acetanilide has started to melt, for example, at 106 degrees. This is the start of the range. When the total solid will be transformed into liquid, as you will see now, it will be the end of the range. Now, at 110 degrees C, the acetanilide has totally melted and the benzoic acid has started. As you see, it is the appearance of the first droplet inside the capillary tube of the benzoic acid. Now we are done with the acetanilide tube, we can move it and we can look again to see how it will resolidify at room temperature. Now, as you will see, the benzoic acid is totally melted. So we look at the temperature, it is 116 or 17 degrees. This is the end of range of the melting of benzoic acid. Now we will remove it and we have to cool down the machine to introduce the capillary tube of the mixture. The machine is at room temperature, I will introduce my capillary tube of the mixture inside. As the theory says, the melting point of the mixture should be lower than both 
acetanilide and benzoic acid. That's why I have to wait. I don't know at which temperature I have to start. So I have to wait and put the machine at a low heating rate to wait minute by minute for the melting point. As you see, the mixture has started to melt at 64 degrees C and now we will wait for the end of the range. At 84 degrees, the mixture is totally melted and as you see, this is a wider range than a pure compound. And this is the end of our experiment.